afternoon stroll at the beach today other than Jason. Jason went for a run today, but it was a good afternoon stroll. Now I'm back home to cook nachos. morning everyone it is Sunday today and we're just about to leave home to go for a nice morning walk <laughs> nothing better than being able to come down to the beach every single morning and walk tiger along the beach like honestly I wasn't a beach person a year ago I've totally changed my aspect on the beach and I love it while we're actually walking down here we'll have a little chat so today we're actually going to a first birthday party so we won't probably be vlogging that much today so I'm gonna try and jam pack a lot of things in this morning so we can get kind of a good vlog for you all but yeah today's a birthday party so we're just having a slow morning basically that's what we're doing having a slow morning because today's we have to drive an hour to the birthday party spend a couple of hours there and then drive an hour back so basically all our afternoon is taken up so we're gonna have a little bit of a slow morning today do we have any plans after the walk uh no no i don't have any plans anymore since i married you <laughs> <laughs> that's <is> so mean <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't expecting that answer, Jason. Alright, what now? What now? I don't know. I really don't know. I really feel like going to Bunnings. That's so strange of me to say that, but you know why I want to go to Bunnings. And you don't to spend want... <laughs> your money on plants. And you don't want me to go to Bunnings. Uh, Life of a plant lover. Life of a plant killer. I do not kill my plants. My plants are very healthy inside. <laughs> so more and more often me and Jason keep on bringing up that we want another dog in our house. But the thing is with us, we don't want to buy another dog. We don't want to like, um, what's the word contribute to like puppy farms or anything plus I think there's so many animals out there that need rehoming or need rescuing or adopting whatever you want to call it so we kind of have an issue we want a new dog we want either a puppy or an older dog it doesn't really matter to me but the issue is the dogs that are mainly in like rescue places are dogs that we don't really want um no offense to anyone who has a pit bull or staffy they're just not dogs that we tend to really gravitate towards and most places only have those dogs any perthians perthians is that a word probably mm. not any perth people out there that know a good place that has good variety of small medium and large dogs that aren't mainly stabbies or pit bulls. If you know a place around Perth that does this, uh, let us know because we really want to look into it and maybe get a new dog soon. Because we had a couple of hours to spare that I would try out my pie maker, my good old pie maker that I got from Jason's mum and uh, try and make some pies. I am really craving some pies so Fingers crossed we can actually make some, but I've just made some pastry. Looks a bit fancy. Um, so fingers crossed this pastry actually turns out right and I can make some yummy, yummy, yummy pies. Hey, Freddie. Oh. Yeah. I actually don't quite know what's going in my pie filling, but I'm just improvising as I go. So I'm gonna put some shrimps in there. I might put a little bit of broccoli in there or some grated carrot. Mm, I really don't know. I'm just improvising here, guys. Just improvising to see if pies will be a new hit in our house. 
I just did a little tester in my palm machine to see if it worked. It looks semi-cooked. Looks quite delicious, but I don't know if it's f the pastry is fully cooked. But it's been sitting in there for a good like ten minutes. I'm not too sure. I think it's cooked, but I'm not too sure. Jason, do you want to come give this a go? Is it cooked or it's cooked? <laughs> cool, I made my first pie. <laughs> Looks like we're having pies tonight. Oh, the pie to myself. Another pie. No. You sure? I thought because we're going to be heading out today, going to a birthday party, we probably won't be able to vlog much this afternoon. So I thought I would sit down with you guys and do a little chit chat with you because I don't really just get to sit down and just hang out. And I feel like sometimes you guys are missing out on just sitting and chilling and just hanging out with me. So one question that a lot of people actually asked is how Frederick is doing being a vegan. Now I wouldn't fully classify Frederick as being a vegan. I would say like 99% maybe 95% of the time. But there is times where Frederick does gravitate towards animal products. They're mainly like milk solids or cheese. But I need a pee. You need a pee? Yeah, a millipede. Go pee then. No, 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 millipede. Oh, you saw a millipede. Huh? Did you see a millipede? Oh, a millipede. Yeah, you want to come sit down on mummy's lap? <laughs> you say morning, everyone. It, it's kind of hard to tell a toddler you, that he can't have I something you, when I he you, really, really, you. really wants it. It either comes down to letting mommy, Frederick have mommy, that kind of surprise mommy. he shouldn't have, mommy. or just letting Frederick kick and scream mommy. in front of a hundred people because he can't get what he wants. Sometimes I have to forget about my fights and just let Frederick do what he wants. Ask me, how do I fit in exercise with a toddler? To begin with, it is not that hard to fit exercise in while you have a toddler or a newborn or an older child. I honestly don't find it that hard to not fit in exercise. Either do it first thing in the morning, so Frederick wants to be outside while I'm doing it, or I either do it late at night. And I mainly do it either in my lounge room or outside. If we're outside, Frederick just goes and plays in his cubby house or on his sand pit. But if we're inside, I just let him watch TV and I just do a workout. So many things that you can cut out of your daily life to fit in a workout if you think that you don't have enough time. You can cut out that 30 minutes that you spend on your phone before breakfast. You could cut out that hour or two hours that you sit down on the couch watching TV. Have I maintained my weight that I lost last year? Yes, I've maintained my weight. I'm so happy I've actually maintained it for having Frederick. I could only really maintain my weight if I was working out so, so, so much. And because I'm not working out as I'm, I used to a couple of years ago, I thought I would struggle with maintaining my weight, but I've actually done such a good job and I may be a few hundred grams lighter or heavier depending on what I've eaten through the week or if I'm going through my monthlies, like it all depends but I am pretty much maintaining my weight now. What do I do when battling extreme anxiety? So I haven't had extreme anxiety since Frederick was a newborn. I don't know if you guys were around when I was going through all my anxiety attacks with Frederick when he was basically newborn, but the main thing that helped me so much was eating healthy and doing yoga and honestly that's the only thing I've only recommended to people when they talk about anxiety to me because I find it helps so much. Last question, how do you stick with a good diet? Honestly, I don't know how I stick with a good diet, but I have heard if you do something and you do it for 21 days straight, it will become a habit. And I just think that's how you kind of start 
a healthy, good diet is just start to do it every single day, create that habit and make sure that habit sticks. Now that my Q&A is over, I'm going to sit you guys down in my kitchen and we're gonna say goodbye. So I hope you all enjoyed seeing what we got up to the last couple of days. I know it's not been very vloggy and that hasn't been us chatting to you guys much, but I tried my best and I'm actually trying a little something new. So hopefully you guys like it, but I will see you guys in a couple of days.